Hi, I'm Managing Editor Chris Yanish, and welcome to Stillwater Gazette Today. With us is Gazette reporter Peter Cox. Uh, Pete, sound like there was a fire at Anderson over the weekend? Yeah, there were uh, two fires, uh, both in sawdust silos at the uh, Anderson plant in Bayport. Uh, the Bayport fire was called out each time. There was some uh, damage to the silos, but uh, they haven't assessed the damage yet. Um, but it sounds like it, each fire, one occurred uh, in the morning and one occurred in the afternoon. Each fire took about three hours to put out. Uh, no one was injured. Uh, it sounds like these fires happen with some frequency, but, but because technology has gotten better, they've, they've been able to avoid them the last few years. Okay. And we also have a crime roundup today? Yeah, uh, it's been pretty quiet around Stillwater. Uh, Holiday season, right? Yeah. The reason that. Yeah. So uh, in the last week, there's you know more car break-ins. Uh, the police department has again urging people to lock their doors. Uh, apparently, these guys are just targeting all unlocked cars. So if you have a car in Stillwater, lock your doors. All right. Well, thanks, Pete. With us now is Gazette reporter James Warden. Uh, James, sounds like we had a recent, uh, not a recent death, but a recent news of a death from H1N1. Uh, yeah, the, just as the H1N1 appears to be winding down, or at least this wave of it, the county finds out that uh, someone, a third um, person died of H1N1 in Washington County in November. The report was a little bit delayed because it takes a while for the reports to trickle down to the county, but it was a 60 to 70 year old resident. No further details because that's all the county gets. Um, the second wave of H1N1 does appear to be over. Whether or not there's going to be a third, uh, no one's quite sure yet. We're entering the traditional start of flu season and public health officials are saying go ahead and get those H1N1 and seasonal flu shots just to be safe. All right, now looking ahead, you also have a story on uh, county commissioners' compensation. Can you tell us about that? Well, uh, a lot of people, they like to focus on pay with uh, county commissioners and other government officials, but uh, the Gazette's going to take a look at other reimbursements they get for mileage, meals, uh, uh, conferences, plane fare, that type of thing. Um, in 2009, 2008, both uh, counties spent about $29,000 on this fee. So it's not a small sum, but it's not a huge percent of the budget. But uh, we'll give you more details on how that shook out. All right, thanks, James. I will take a quick a quick look at weather and be back with sports. With us now is Gazette Sports Center Stuart Grosskreutz. Stu, what do we have in sports today? Uh, as typically happens this time of year, the weekends are busy on the uh, sports scene. Uh, there were several games, um, invitationals, and uh, other events this weekend. Uh, the boys swimming and diving team picked up a victory at the Bengal Invite. Uh, the, uh, Nordic, the boys and girls Nordic ski teams uh, had a strong showing at the holiday relays, uh, finishing uh, both the boys and the girls finished, uh, finished first in the, uh, the classic uh, relay. It was a four by three kilometer relay uh, format. Uh, the boys and girls finished first in the classic and both finished second in the uh, in the freestyle event. So it was a successful um, day for them. Uh, the Alpine ski team, the uh, the girls finished or won the um, Wild Mountain Invitational, which uh, features 20 teams uh, and some strong competition up there. Uh, the boys finished second in the same event, uh, finishing only behind uh, defending state champion St. Thomas Academy. Uh, we also had some basketball this weekend. The Stillwater boys uh, picked up an 11-point victory over White Bear Lake. Uh, the girls, meanwhile, um, lost by about 12 points, uh, if I recall, at, at White Bear Lake. And White Bear Lake is the uh, defending Section 4 champion So, uh, face, uh, with, with several key players back. So uh, uh, obviously a tough test for the girls, um, them getting an idea of where they're at. Uh, the Stillwater girls hockey team um, continued their kind of up and down season. Uh, dropping a 3-2 decision uh, at White Bear Lake. Uh, Stillwater boys also um, struggled or scored, took an early lead in the, in the first period uh, before eventually falling to White Bear Lake 4-3. Uh, that's always a big rivalry game and that was at Aldrich Arena on um, Saturday night. Uh, and also the Stillwater gymnastics team, and I hope I'm not leaving anybody out, uh, finished um, uh, fourth or fifth, if I recall, at the St. Cloud Tech Invitational. Uh, Christina Krenz was a little under the weather uh, for that meet, uh, but it was all around solid performance for the for the girls up there. So, all right, thanks, Sue. That's all for now. Join us next time on Stillwater Gazette today.